Let's go over a technique in this video that is relatively simple, but everyone doesn't see it that way. We're going to talk about how to drop your MIDI or whatever it is in your in your music and dealing with samples. So what I did was I wanted to show you guys from both angles. So I have Studio One and then we're going to do it in Machine. I've gotten this question several times, as a matter of fact, and so I want to show you both ways. So how to drop out your music and keep the sample going. So what I did was I took something old that I did a while back and I kind of like um, timed it, sized it, stretched it or not stretch it <laughs> and um, changed the pitch on it. So this is what it sound like. So we can create something very simple from there. Um, this is my machine track. But first, let's show you how to do this. So I'm going to just bring over a simple kit like Impact inside of Studio One. And we're just going to create something real simple, nothing. I'm not making any hits right now. But let's pick some better drums, though. Two, three, four. Right, so that's me creating drums on top of the sample like most people do when dealing with samples. I don't really deal with samples that much, so I kind of stay away from it. Um, but anyway, um, so basically we can take this this section here and duplicate it. And if you want the beat to come out or, you know, just imagine the song being built with bass line, um synth chords piano whatever it is that you want to put in here all right um i don't know let's let's go ahead and try to build two three four let's fix the last one i thought i had it but i didn't all right so Right. So we're going to duplicate that. And so when we're dealing with MIDI notes, this is all you have to do when dropping something out. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of this. Right. So around there, let's say the eighth bar. All I'm going to do is delete the MIDI notes or. What I could have did was just pull back the, the MIDI region itself all the way to the eighth bar and do the same for this one as well. You know what I'm saying? So. So you could do that or or you can go in the actual the, the the piano roll itself and since I have both of them highlighted in studio one I can I can activate I can do editing in both at the same time I can take all of this and delete it all the you know all at the same time right the same process will happen when we're using machines so Let's head over to the machine. We're going to mute all of this. I loaded this sample, the same sample, to my pad one here. Now, when we are working in machine, the, the, the workflow is slightly different. Everything is, like I always tell everybody, we're dealing with patterns and scenes, which means your pattern remains the same until you duplicate it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So scene one, let's let's start our scene one and we're gonna make our pattern. Uh we can make it four bars. Let's see, is that is that what we, well, let's make it eight bars. So our first pattern is gonna be eight bars. Now it gets a little tricky 
doing work inside a machine, especially if you are starting at one. So what I have to do is start at my eighth bar and then we can come back around. So my eighth bar would be my four, my four beat count. So let's turn it on. So let's activate my metronome. Let's see. Two, three, four. So now that we have our sample in here on pattern one, I'm going to go ahead to my, my group B and I'm going to find a quick hit, right quick, quick hit, right quick. Did that make sense? Something simple again, we're not making no hit making music, we just wanted to show you, we're going to work with that. Something like that, all right? So... Again, we're going to start at our eighth bar here to activate our four counts. So, two, three, four. Right. So this is strictly coming from machine itself. I'm not working in Studio One. However, Studio One Studio One is what's controlling machine right now. But my machine is what what we're working from solely. So so don't 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 get it twisted. Now now here's the thing. Um, as you can see, I've only did maybe four bars, give or take. So I'm gonna go back to the part the pattern itself, and we're gonna double that. And make it eight bars because I'm doing the same thing. All right. Keep in mind, just think about what I just did. Now, scene one is pattern one. What is really dope about machine, what they did a couple updates ago was allow us to um, duplicate a scene like I'm about to do now. Let's duplicate the scene. And the thing used to be was you have to always remember to go back and duplicate your pattern as well. But what they did was they added a button called unique right at the top, which gives me the ability. And let's uh, I'm going to zoom out so you can see that. See, pattern one, pattern one. Both scenes has pattern one. In fact, it says scene one, scene one. They both reflect the same thing. It's just duplicates of the same thing, making it longer. That That's all it is. It's the same exact thing. But. If you want to make changes, you need to hit the unique button. Bam. So now we say sing to pattern to pattern to. You understand what I'm saying? So now it's different from the first pattern or the first scene. So now we can make an adjustments and not worry about messing it all messing it all up like like before because you have to remember to go go back and do certain things, right? So now let's do what we did before in Studio 1, but let's replicate the idea in machine so if we go back to our first scene so let me turn off the loop i have the loop on here right so in machine now i can go to my my pattern and i could do what, what you saw me do before in in um, studio one so I'm going to go at the eighth bar and delete all of that at the eighth bar, right? And keep in mind, these are muted. They have the mute button on it. You understand, you understand what just happened? Same thing, same process. The only thing is making sure that um, you have your patterns are different from each other. Then you can go in individually and, you know what I mean, and, and delete whatever you need to make the beat drop. That way the sample is still going and whatever you did MIDI-wise will drop. 
that was the question. I hope I answered that question. All right. So um, if you guys have any questions about what I just explained, please feel free to comment as usual. You guys are awesome with uh, the request. All right. My name is Kevin Ellup and music is art and you are the artist. Paint your picture.